YouTube, this your boy Zay Primo, man, back again with another video today, we got something different, we got a Dr. Phil video, I think, uh, should trans women athletes be allowed to compete with against biological women, that's a good topic, bro, I got a question for y'all, right, say, say, say somebody 6'6", six, six. say LeBron, say LeBron, right, 6'8", six, 6'8", eight. Six, eight, like 270 or whatever, something like that, say, say he comes to the UFC, right, and he faces a woman who's 5'8", 200 pounds, right? I don't know. 5'8", 190, 5'8", 185, whatever. Five, she's like 5'10". Fuck it. He versus a 6'8", woman. You still think LeBron's going to lose? LeBron's going to cave her face in. LeBron's going to cave her face in. No matter if he's a woman now or if he was a man before. He still has the same strength and all that, bro. That's why that's crazy. And that's why every time transgender men... That turned into women. That's why they dominate, bro. Every time I've I've literally I've literally seen headlines and stuff like that. But we gonna get straight into this video and see what they have to say. But y'all know how I feel about it. Make sure and let me know down below in the comments how y'all feel about it. Let's get straight into this, man. Trans women should not be in head-to-head -head competition against females. Trans athletes should definitely be able to compete, especially if they follow the rules and the guidelines. There's no training, no coach that's gonna outrun biology. Men are not. You serious? Textbook bigger than women. Huh? Short man syndrome. There are tall female athletes. There are people that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can beat up a woman that's way taller than me. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I would never do something like that. But I'm saying though, like if I'm in the UFC, I still have an advantage over them. Off, off of strength. Like, like, like. T say this. Say this. Somebody like. You think you think you think Allen Iverson in his prime, who's like five eleven? Do you think he's losing to a woman that's six two? Do y'all really think that? Allen Iverson. All right. Come in every I don't know. I don't know. A male who's been through male puberty and has now reduced their testosterone is not a female. If a trans athlete's hormone levels they're not fall in the same range as the people they're competing against, then there is no debate to be had. Wait, do, do hormone levels do hormone levels conclude the strength? Is that is that a thing? Do hormone levels mean strength? All I have levels no clue. of sports, trans women are taking spots away from females, and it's just not fair. The likelihood of a trans athlete taking someone else's spot. Why can't trans women think about this? Why can't trans women be better than men? Do I not? Why? Why haven't? Why haven't they? Why haven't they been able to come to the light of this? It's always about trans. It's always about trans women. It's always about the man that becomes a woman coming into the sport, not the woman that becomes a man. They never. They're not the problem. It seems like. I don't know. Is not Maybe because they can't get to that that level of count. Which proves something. Leah Thomas is awesome. I think she's brave. I think she's courageous and I'm proud of her. The female category is for females only. Trans people are here to stay and sports is a part of our culture, but we have to give them the space to be themselves. This is a much talked about subject right now. Nancy, why do you say Leah Thomas shouldn't compete in the women's division? W Nancy. Thomas had 10 years on testosterone. If a biological woman was on that much testosterone, she would be banned for life because of the changes that it makes to the body. Thank you. Common sense, bro. Like, I'm confused on how you can debate that. So, 10 years of being on 20 times more testosterone than what biological women have. When you say was on testosterone, you mean naturally? Natural, yeah, exactly. Yeah, not that she was. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah, yeah, but 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 that's male puberty. Right, and that has a substantial effect on the muscle mass and a lot Everything. of other aspects. Right, of right, right. Even as far as it's not just height and lung capacity and bigger heart. It's also like mm -hmm. a bigger throat. Mm. I mean, that that was the first time ever that I felt jealous of men. <laughs> yeah. because in swimming like when you're swimming like and you're you need to breathe it is a fast like right you've got to be able to get it in really quickly to be able to have a 40 percent uh bigger throat 
to me would be <laughs> substantial. Like, yo, he didn't even speak and he got washed. I don't know how he's gonna rebuttal this, but I really want to see it. Kind of amazing. Be, been yeah. huge. It's huge. And you didn't compete against men, but you did compete against the Eastern. East German women. East German women. I sure did. Yeah. And they were on. There was a big scandal at the time because they were on yeah. performance enhancing drugs. Yeah, they were on performance enhancing drugs, but we as athletes weren't supposed to talk about it. So in press conferences, they wanted us just to talk about like good swim and, you know, be a good sport. But everybody knew they were taking drugs, that their, their voices were much lower, they had mm. shades. Athletes what? that were on testosterone were never competitive against men. Right, even then. Even then. E even those that were on them. Right. Okay. Now, Lane says there was another trans swimmer at the NCAA meet that didn't win any events whatsoever. W what are you referring to? Isaac Hennick. Well, I mean, Isaac, yeah, he he's competing, you know, and with women, and he did beat Leah, by the way. Uh -huh. um, I think overall that this is an overgeneralization. Though. He's a transgender specific basketball coach. Okay. You know that. You know that T has lots of different effects. You know it affects people in many, many ways. You know the biology is not XX and XY. You know that. And so we can't come out and overgeneralize and say T affects everything. And scientifically, there is no current evidence that says that because of a testosterone level, that trans women have an inherent competitive advantage. Okay, I do okay. think that having gone through male puberty gives mm -hmm. somebody an advantage that you just can't train for, get coached for, eat for, sleep, right? You Which makes There's sense. nothing that somebody can do that can make up for Leah Thomas. Like, you can go off you saying there's no study for it, but, like, use the common sense of your brain. If if somebody's going through that, that whole puberty, Tuberic state? That's not even a word, and I just made it up because I'm nice like that. Bro, if somebody's going through that state, bro, and the women don't have that chance to do that because that's not something you just regularly go through. That's clearly an advantage. Why wouldn't that be an advantage? They don't get that. Like, uh. This is six foot four, you know, bigger hands, longer limbs. He looks like he's about to cry. He looks like he's about to cry. Bigger throat. Because he's losing. There's a lot of women who are six foot four with big hands and big bones and big shoulders, um, because we. What? We all come in different shapes and sizes. Do you have a story or a question? Bro, 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 no, shut up, shut up, Phil, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, Phil, Phil, you, shut up, bro, shut up, bro, cause, 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 because what is he talking about? Because what is he talking about? He just said, he just said that there's plenty of women that's six four. Nigga. Where? On what earth? On what earth are there women that are 6'4"? Where? Where? Show me 10 6'4". Four... Show me 10 6'4 women in your town. Show me 10 6'4 women in your town, bro. What are you talking about? I've never seen that damn in my life, bro. That's crazy, man. He's just talking because he lost. I go a lot, man. L for blacks. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But make sure I like, comment, and subscribe, man. Nah, that's crazy. How do y'all feel about that video? Let me know down, down below in the comments, man. It's been your boy TCP Primo, and I'm out, man. Peace. Nah, they got to be fucked up. That's kind of crazy.